Hello, this is Eric of Sparky Studio, and I'm here to talk about Chubby Cable. We have a charger right here, a GAN charger, 65 watt rated. USB-C is power delivery and USB type A, the large rectangular one. This one is going to be for quick charge. Power and delivery and quick charge are different technologies and are compatible with certain devices. Now let's get started. Sparky Studio. Yeah. Now the quality does seem to be decent, but of course I have to make sure that it really is quality. So I'm going to connect my chubby cable, USB-C. It's very tight. Yeah, it's holding this light plus the battery. If I place this down on my table, is this USB-C cable going to work? Oh, I'll, I'll just take this with me and find out. And there goes the light. Let's see if this cable still works. Here is my USB cable that I just used. And guess what? It's working. So I can actually pull, rip the cable out of this lamp with a battery and it still works. Now to up the game, I'm using a really huge battery on this. And this is listed at 1.5 pounds. I weighed it on a scale. Let's see what happens. If something breaks this, this should break it. Does it still work? Well, let's find out. For good measure, I'm going to use a 100 watt rated power charger. And let's see if I can get full power out of this lamp. Full power, still works. I ripped it off, well, the light, and you saw that. For yourself, it still works. Second time. Quality. Approved. Right now, my dummy battery for my camera powered with this USB cable and the other one to my light. Now, if I were disconnecting and connecting devices, it will flick on and off my camera, and I'll do the same to my light. So make sure if you use this for a studio environment, to set everything first. I recommend quick charge set first, then your light if it were power delivery, for instance. It is now running 45 watts. The camera itself draws about 15 watts of power, or precisely 3.1 amps, slightly over 15 watts. Looking at the power draw, this lamp does draw up to 10 watts, but we can see the actual delivery of power to this light. I now have the light set to its maximum power draw. Now let's find out what the power usage actually is. And should that be accurate? Here's what my tester says. Adjusting the light, it looks like I managed to pull up 64 watts of power usage. And mind you, here is our voltage on top, and it's pulling 20 volts. The rest is gonna be heat loss, harmonics, and everything else in terms of changing our power. Right now, I'm quick charging my phone. We can see that 16.7 or so watts of power. And here is the power draw going through to the mobile phone listed. Now, why might I use this coiled cable? In my case, I might use it while video editing. My battery's running low on my mouse, per se. And this way, I don't have to worry about a bunch of cable laying everywhere. It just springs back. Or I might use this as something as simple as powering a monitor. And by monitor, I'm talking about a studio monitor for your camera. You could actually power a display because a 100 watt power delivery cable is pretty darn good. However, with power delivery of 100, you don't have the pinout left for much for data. And this should probably have a data speed of that of the iPhone using a lightning port. Using our yellow silicon cable, I'm going to copy over this file. That's 3.13 gigabytes in file size. And let's see the transfer speed, pasting it to desktop. We're copying it at about 39.1 megabytes per second. Expected speed for this type of cable. Now, if you want a data cable, make sure you're purchasing a data cable USB 3.0 or higher. So note which cable you are getting. This is not a chubby cable, but they sell the same product with pins. It's magnetic, and that means even magnetic dirt will get in here. I personally love these things because if I walk somewhere and I pull it, and we just simply connect it back, and we can charge our devices without worrying about ripping the cable apart ever. This is the chubby cable. 
that is magnetic. I have the Anker GAN charger right here, and both of them only allow the same 65 watt power delivery to my light. Where is Chubby Cable better than this Anker 7 series GAN charger? We have 65 watts up here, then we have 18 watts, so you only have one capable 65 watt. 65 watt capable by itself, 65 watt by itself because maximum of this device, and 18 watts maximum for the quick charge. The chubby cable adapter has a little light so you can see it's powered on. The anchor has no light. However, one thing we do have is a little more silence on this one, but it's so darn quiet. Would you hear it? I now to place the charger right against the microphone so we can at least hear something. And so far this has been running for about five minutes. Warm to touch, not hot. Now for your own information, I've been using the chubby charger for at least two weeks to power this device. Worked fine and dandy. No complaints there. Chubby Cable does sell other brands and not all other brands are going to be the same quality. Did you own Chubby Cable and what you experience good? And specifically, which product? We all want to know. This is Eric of Sparky Tech at my temporary Sparky studio. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a most wonderful day.